Okay, so this is the last video on creating the Whacker Monster game, finally. A um, couple of things just to check before we proceed. You want to make sure that your monster over here in the library has all the same rules as the monster that you've created in the game itself, which is known as the instance. Prototype and instance. So you want to make sure that they are, are all both exactly the same. These entire rule tabs, you can copy and paste from one to the other. Um, I just got caught out doing that, where I was working on the monster over here. Here's a prototype, and then wondered why it didn't work in the game. But of course, it was because it hadn't been added to the game yet. So make sure that these rules on the prototype and over here, sorry, over here on the prototype and over here on the instance are identical. When you've done that, everything should should be working. We can copy this monster and use it elsewhere. So to copy, all we have to do is hit the hit the Alt key and drag it, and we can create a few extra monsters. I think we need three extra monsters. This one here, we can uh, change the name, call it Monster Number Two. And with monster number two, we need to just to go through our rules and change the colors and change the character. So rather than it being the red monster, we need to change the color. Let's make it the yellow monster. In the next rule, make yellow. Just make sure wherever we had the word red, we change it to yellow. I think that's it. Okay. So that's done. So now monster two is the yellow monster. We can now drag him in to the game, resize him, and put him over uh, a crater as well. Do exactly the same for your other copies of the monster. And we can change those rules Again, from red, uh, in the first one, here it is up here, sorry, the first set of rules, from red, there's a green monster and there's a violet monster. So you can change all four. Okay, so I've changed all four monsters. So basically, I've copied the red monster that I wanted to be working on. And then all of the other, the other three I've just made into a yellow, green and violet monster and dragged and dropped and popped them onto the moonscape. So we'll look, see, what, look, see what that looks like. So there should be now four monsters that will randomly uh, appear. And then we'll kind of give them all a bit of a whack. Those of you who would like to go a bit further, perhaps you could create your own image, maybe your image, and put it into uh, to one of the and uh, create a, a fourth or fifth monster rather perhaps in your own image so that we can all whack the bejeebas out of you um, last thing is the counter so the last thing we need to add is a scoring sheet so we need to add a new actor of course which will be our score which is fine we can go up to our actors there is the score sheet there it is. Now we're going to add a rule to this, which is a display text rule. Not hello world. The text we're going to display is an attribute, a game attribute, if you recall, and it will be the score. Close that. You could. Oh, that should have come up. My mistake. I forgot to click on the yellow tick. Game, score, tick. You can play around with the background color perhaps. You can play around with the font. Sorry, I clicked across there. You can play around with the font. Not many to choose from. Um, get it looking at however you would like. Add the score in. And let's have a look. There 
There's your Whacker Monster game. Now, because we don't want to play this game forever, there has to be an end game some point. So we'll uh, we'll add a timer, a countdown uh, to it. Now to do that, we will go over to the game again. We're going to add another attribute to the game. Um, it's going to be integer again because it's a whole number. And we'll call it timer. And we'll give it uh, we'll give it a factor, a number of about 30. So it'll count down from 30. Uh, we'll pop back up into our actors tab up here and we'll add another actor in so we can have our countdown. Uh, actor one, actor two, there one mistake. We'll call it timer. And we will associate a new image for that. I think there is one that is just a blank looking screen. There we go, blank box. And we'll make this one our timer. Just like the score, we will need it to display text. Display text, not hello world. The attribute's going to be a game attribute of timer. Game attribute of timer. Again, you can play around with the color a little bit. You can play around with the uh, size and the font and whatever floats your boat. Now to make it count down, we'll add in a timer. And we will make it every one second. We will add the change attribute. Change attribute from the game timer to attribute game timer minus one. Now, of course, when it gets to, to zero, we actually want it to do something. So we'll create a, a new rule, a new attribute rule that says okay that says when the attribute game timer equals zero we're going to do something we'll play a sound and i think then we'll probably make it navigate to the game over tab without play sound sorry i've gone way too fast play sound to say the game is over Sound so we play. There we go, maybe the success. And then we also want to then uh, change the scene to the game over. And then, then your next step, then of course, would be to also put something on the game over scene that says game over. Wow. All right, let's see. Whoops, let's see if it works. Just scroll in. It's game over. Let's pop the timer into the game somewhere. Do do resize it. Just put a score in the timer. Let's see what it looks like. Timer's counting down. Score is counting up. Had it with my mouth like that. <laughs> Off to the game over screen. So you've got a, your score to beat is what was it? Was it seventy one? All right. Thank you, boys.